Now, in this lecture, we are going to understand how to create your own hook in React. Creating hook in React is easy, just like you create a function in JavaScript, but with some rules. Custom hooks are nothing but these are JavaScript functions. While creating a React app, if we have something common logic that we want to share between components, then we can use a custom hook. Let's take a look at how to create your own custom hook in React. So inside this component, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name this file custom hook. And inside this custom hook, I'm going to create a simple function. So here I'm going to simply say react functional component. And I'm going to just add here a component with the name custom hook. In the previous example, we understand how to count a number when we click on this button. I'm going to create the same example, but at this time, I'm going to use my own custom hook. So inside my custom hook here, I'm going to create a state. So up here, I'm going to say constant in the array. I'm going to say order count. And as a second argument, I'm going to say set order count. And then I'm going to specify here, use state like this. And in the parentheses, I'm going to pass an object and pass here count zero. Now, as you can see, when I add a use state, Visual Studio Code will automatically import that for me. Now, just out of that, once I have my use state, just down here, I'm going to create here a function. So I'm going to say here constant change order count. And then I'm going to pass here equal to sign and an arrow function like this. Just out of that, here, I'm going to just simply call this set order count variable. So I'm going to simply say here set order count and then pass here parenthesis because as you know, the use state is going to return function as a second argument. So I'm going to say here set order count and in the parenthesis, I'm going to pass an object and say count and pass here order count dot count plus one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first initialize this count with this object. Then I'm going to get this count using this order count and add one inside it. So if we have zero inside this count, this statement will add one inside this count variable. Just out of that, I don't need to return JSX from this hook. So I'm going to just get rid of this statement. And here I'm going to pass in curly braces to return an object as a response from this hook. Just out of that, here I'm going to return order count as a first argument and return change count as a second argument. You can notice here, I'm just returning this change order count function using this function. Now let me explain this code. I'm going to just create a state using use state hook and initialize this order count with an object and pass here count key with the value. Just out of that, as you know, this use state is going to return the set count function to change the value of your initial state. So I'm going to just use this set count inside my function. As you can see here, I'm going to just create change order count function and inside it, I'm going to pass set order count to change the value of this order count. So I'm going to just simply say here curly braces, pass this count key and then I'm going to return this order count dot count and add one inside this zero. So if we have zero, it will just add one inside that zero and I will have one as a response. And at the end, I'm going to just return the initial value of this state variable, which is order count, and then return this change order count function. That's it. As you can see, it's super easy to create a hook in React application. But when you try to use this hook in your React application, you will get an error message because React will consider this function as a React component. You need to tell React that you want to import this hook. So if you want to tell the React, this is not a type of component, this is a type of hook you can pass a prefix to this function. So before the function name as a prefix, you need to pass here yours. Using this statement, React will consider this function as a hook of your application. So React will not take this as a component. So whenever you create your component, make sure to pass this use as a prefix of your function. So whenever you want to create your own hook in React, you need to pass a use prefix before that function name. As you can notice, I'm going to just pass here use as a prefix to this custom hook. Let me save this file and change this file name as well. So you will understand clearly. I'm going to say here use custom hook. And now let me show you how you can use this hook inside this effect hook component. Now just out of that, I'm going to leave this return statement as it is. And at the top here, I'm going to add my custom hook. So here I'm going to just simply say constant 
and then I'm going to just call this use state hook. So if you want to use this hook in your React application, you need to first import it. So at the top, here I'm going to say import. Then let me just use this function, use custom hook like this from and in the single code, I'm going to pass this use custom hook file name. Just out of that, then I'm going to just say here order book is equal to and then I'm going to call this function use custom hook just like this. Don't forget to pass parenthesis here because a use custom hook is a function. So don't forget to pass here parenthesis. So this statement will call this hook, this use custom hook and return this statement to this order book variable. Now, as you know, once we have this order count and this change order count inside this order book variable, I can use it inside my JSX. So what I'm going to do is instead of this count here, I'm going to say order book dot count. So I'm going to just call this order count state variable. And just for that, just down here, we have this button. And to this button, we have this on click event with the event handler. As you know, inside my use custom hook, I have here a function. I can pass this function as an event handler to my React component. Let me get rid of it and let me back to the use custom hook. As you know, we have this function here. I'm going to use this function as an event handler of event hook component. This custom hook is going to first return the initial value of this component using this order count and then return this change order count handler function as a second value. You can notice here inside this curly braces as an object, we pass both these values. Let me just use it. We first use this order count, the initial value of this state and inside this curly braces, I'm going to say order book dot change order count. That's it. Let me save this file, save this file as well and back to my browser. When I execute my program, I'm going to have an error message. Let me back to the program and here you can notice we just use here order book dot order count. If you just take a look at to your state, then you can notice we have here count as an object. We just initialize this order state with an object and pass here count key. So if I want to use this count variable value, I need to pass this key as well. So inside this effect hook, I'm going to just pass here dot and then call here count like this. Let me save this file back to my program. And as you can see, I have my program here. And now when I click on this button, I'm going to have here a message. You click one time, two times, three times. Now you can notice here how easy it is to create a custom hook in React. Using this custom hook, I can use this functionality in my any React component. Isn't it great? It is. So I hope you understand how to create a custom hook in React. There are many built-in hooks in React. We will look at that step by step.